So if you've just watched me making that cup of coffee, I know what you're thinking. Simon, you're not even a grandma. Well, how do you know? If you've followed my channel for a while, or if you ever look in any of the comments on any of my videos, you'll see that I get a lot of requests to teach certain songs. And the reason for that is because over the years I've become quite good, and I do emphasize the word quite, at figuring out songs. They're not always 100% accurate, but they're normally pretty close. So I thought I would do a video and show you how I do that. And hopefully it will help some of you to figure out some of the songs that you want to learn that nobody else has put any tabs down or videos for. So I hope this video helps. If it does, make sure you give it a like and subscribe. See you later. So step one is get together the equipment that you need to do this. So what do you need? A decent pair of headphones. So the reason you need a decent pair of headphones is so that you can listen to the guitars separately, left and right. Also, it blocks out all other noise that's going on around you. So if you've got family or animals or whatever, it helps you to block out all that stuff. Also, it allows you to really focus on one guitar at a time because you can literally just take an ear off. So headphones, pretty obvious, but you will need a guitar if you're gonna figure out how to play things on the guitar. Some manuscript paper or tab lined paper and a pen or pencil. And something that'll be really useful is something to record on. So you can use your phone or some kind of camera, which will help you if you're playing it and breaking it down slowly so that you don't forget what you're doing. Um, yep, so those are the key essentials that you need. Let's look at step two. Step two is take your guitar and put it down. The reason I say that is because if you don't, this is what you'll end up doing. And what I was doing there was not really paying attention to what I was listening to. If you've got a guitar in your hands, you're gonna play it. So put the guitar down. Step three is without playing the guitar, without writing anything down, just put your headphones on and really listen to the song. So really concentrate on what you can hear, try and figure out where the riff changes are, try and figure out where the the second guitar part is playing something different try and figure out where the chords are going and you know all that sort of stuff but really listen to it and focus on what you're listening to and block out anything else that you're doing or that is around you because that's probably the quickest way to get the song in your head before you even start trying to figure it out so the next step and I would always do this after you've listened to the song, is I would look for other lessons, I would look for tabs, and I would look for live versions of the song. So the most useful is probably a live version if you can find one, and it's a decent quality, and you can actually see what the guitar player is doing, because then you can see what the actual band are doing. Next up is a lesson, because quite often they'll be pretty accurate. And last, if you can't find any of those, and you can find a tab, have a look at those but quite often you'll find that they're completely wrong which is what I always find so I rely on my ear more so sometimes I'll find a tab that is fairly close but when I listen to it I can hear that it's definitely not right so I'll just take that tab and fix the bits that I need to but if you can't find any of those then we'll go on to the next step so the next step is pick up your guitar and once you've picked up your guitar, the step after that is make sure that it is tuned to how the song is tuned. So sometimes a song is not tuned to concert pitch, or sometimes it's, in, if you're, especially if you're listening to metal, it's tuned into a completely different tuning. So a drop tuning or a low tuning. So you need to make sure your guitar is tuned the same way. Um, a good way of figuring that out is if you can find a tab or a lesson, they'll normally, normally have the tuning on there 
If you can't, then some forums will tell you what tuning a band uses, but again, they're not always accurate and some songs won't be tuned to the way the band um, tunes for the rest of their songs, if that makes sense. I'm not even sure what I said there, but I think you get what I mean. So then what I would do, if I can't find the tuning, I will find the lowest note in the song. And the lowest note in the song will normally be an open bottom string, especially if you're playing in a metal style. So I'd find the lowest note in the song and that's pretty much where I'd take my guitar to. So let's have a look at the next step. So the next step you can do one of two ways. So the way I like to do it is I'll pick a riff and I'll learn both guitar parts for that riff. Some people, when they do it, will find it easier to just learn one guitar and then come to the other guitar. Um, but either way, try and find a way that works for you, whether it's breaking it down riff at a time and figuring out both guitar parts, or whether just learning the whole one guitar part and the other one is easier for you. And then I would either write those down or record them so that I have a record and I don't forget because sometimes it can take a while and by the time you get to the end of your song you might have forgotten what you did at the start of the song so make sure you record the process as you're going along either on tab or notation or record it with your phone or camera or something like that final step is to play along to the song and make sure you're accurate because sometimes you'll figure something out, you'll get to the end of the song and you'll play it through and you'll think, hang on a minute, that still doesn't sound right. And you'll go back and revisit something and correct something that you thought was correct earlier, but now it doesn't sound right with a little bit more practice. Um, this happens to me all the time. So I'll write down what I think is a riff and then I start recording the lesson and I'm like, no, that doesn't sound right. And I'll go back and re-listen to the song and there's one note that's different or something like that. So the last step should be go back play along to the song, try and get what you're listening to and your guitar at the same volume so that they're balanced and you can hear them both well. And then check back to make sure that you have got it right. If you have, you've learnt the song. I hope you found that video useful and I hope that you can use that to go and figure out some songs or some riffs or whatever you want to learn. I'd be really interested in hearing your feedback. So if before this video you have another way of doing it, which works for you, put it in the comments because that'd be interesting. And if after this video you go away and try this technique and it works, I'd also be really interested in hearing about how you got on. So put your comments in the video and I'll see you later.